Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your favorite random man for King Yee, who tens was in the building today. And welcome to another reaction video. I don't know, I think I said that twice. Um, to Yumakan 2016. Last week, Yumakan was just so phenomenal, so amazing. It went in all four days, and it was such a great time. And I had such a great time. But special thanks to like my uh, to Jaleel, Vic, Saquon. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this experience. As you can see, uh, these are not biker gloves, ladies and gentlemen. These are my Soldier 76 gloves, which I was at, at, the, at last week. You I was Soldier 76. Soldier 76. Yeah, the Soldier 76. And the reason why I'm wearing these sunglasses, I would I would dive into that shortly. But uh, I went all four days. Thursday was definitely the free day. Uh, I went as Luke Cage. Uh, took me a good couple pictures. And I will upload all the pictures on this episode of the reaction video, folks. And uh, like I said, Yumakon was definitely fun. Uh, Luke Cage took a, took a couple pictures here and there. I just took a picture with a McCree. Uh, miss, some, miss, I, miss some of my homies there. Of course, my crew. Uh, I call my, my Yumakon crew. From Tremaine, Mike, Dre, uh, the uh, Shapato, uh, five minutes and some more. Eric, uh, uh, Zay, Fox. You know, I, I met all the all the crew there. Everything was just so live, was so neat. And uh, like I said, no, like the first day of Yumacon, it was there. And it was it, I wasn't really going to dress up at first, uh, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Uh, just you no, know, just have just have a good old time with it. Uh, of course, I met a couple people from Instagram. Uh, Chibi, if I'm saying that wrong, I definitely it will fly across the screen to let me know what what you think. I will say your name right. Uh, but Facebook is AJ. She real cool, piece, real good person. I had fun meeting her. Uh, the first thing we pretty much stayed in the game room all day, all day, and we was in it. It's me. Victor, Jaleel, Saquon, we had such a good time. We played, we played to like Jesus. I want to like uh, possibly two o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit like three, if I'm saying it right. I, my whole goal today was get pictures and um, and get video shouts out. Of course, Team Four Star was there the first day. You know, uh, I spent pretty much the whole day uh, just showing like Vic, Jaleel around, getting the lay of the land, you Makan. Really good. That's right, folks. Well, Soldier 76 was indeed, in fact, because one of the days I was supposed to be Red Hood on Saturday, on Saturday, Yumakan, but uh, a dude dressed as McCree, he uh, he came to me and said, Hey, Soldier say 76. I looked around, I was like, Why are they saying 76? I, I don't get it. Why are they saying it? But I happened to turn around a little, and, and this guy dressed as a Reaper, and he said, No, they're doing a group photo shoot uh, for Overwatch. And I was like, I'm in. I'm there. I was. And that's my. That's one of my goals. I really wanted to do is to uh, be in a Yumacon photo shoot, and and I got it. It happened. I was so happy. I was a part of that. But I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. Cause on Friday, you no, know, I consider, I I consider myself the best uh, soldier seventy six. There there was a lot more out there. There was, but I forget mine. I want. I think mine was the best. It's uh, cause I, I actually had the straps on and the straps. I guess I had the straps on too good. And I had some boot straps on her. I mean, it got so irritating because like I literally was like, it was helping me try to put the straps on, and I keep kept zipping, unzipping. It's like I got tired, so I just ripped it off, put it in my backpack, and get and got on about my business. So anyway, then cause we, I I think the one thing I do like about the con is uh, meeting and talking to people about everything. Cause everybody talking about uh. But Overwatch, because that Overwatch was definitely was the uh, the highlight of humor. It was it was definitely the highlight, and, and people were just sitting there talking. We, and we talking about movies, of course, talking about live action, like Attack on Titan, which I had talked so much about. And her Lisa Ortiz, Lisa Ortiz is the voice of Amy Rose and Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece, and me and her was just a joy. And uh, it's like cool. I really you know. I, I met her on a. Friday, yeah, I met, I met her on Friday. No, scratch that. I met her on Saturday. So, anyways, uh, I, I, pretty much, I, that's why I got our and we just took a whole lot of pictures and whatnot. So, going into Saturday, and I have a lot of pictures of, of Overwatch stuff. Man, man, it was such so much fun. 
uh, how they did it was they went by uh, they, they went by names first because it was it was a lot more Soldier Seventy Six, a lot more Divas, and I believe there was a lot more Tracer than it was Symmetras, Bastions, Chorbjorn. Uh, if I'm saying his name wrong, please forgive me. Uh, it was a whole, it was a, it was just a lot of a then like they took Soldier Pictures, Diva Pictures, Tracer Pictures. I can go on. Then it went by like uh, group like group names like offense defense and this one guy dressed as he had, he had the head of bastion but he's like in like his little snuggy outfit and it was so much fun and so then um then also uh, that, that's why the mercy's coming and one one of the people i want to say thank you and it's an honor really an honor meeting you was i want to say it's symmetry uh, kidney if i'm saying her name wrong please forgive me if i'm saying your name wrong uh, it was an honor again. I, I told you this on Instagram. Uh, it was a pleasure and honor to meet you, and thank you so much. It, it, I just had a good fun just meeting other people. That, and that's it, and that's what good about a con. You can meet other people and talk about your favorite characters and who and what's not your favorite anime. It, it, it was just so much fun. And then uh, I did some more Soldier Seventy Six pictures, more Overwatch pictures. We did like Overwatch versus uh, Val. Uh, I mean, always versus Team Fortress 2. Then we had like Blizzard versus uh, um, Val. It, it, I had so much fun doing it. Again, great, great day, great night. On Saturday, when I met Lisa Ortiz, again, the voice of Amy Ruff from Sonic Hitchhiker's Adventure Series and Tony Tony Chopper from uh, One Piece, she was such a joy to run into, dog. I mean, honest to God, truthfully. She, she, and I asked her, um, like, who is your uh, favorite character to play uh, between Amy Rose and Chopper? Because I love, I, honestly, I love them both, but Chopper is kind of my, my favorite uh, of her characters that she do. She said, uh, which one do I prefer? And I was like, honestly, I, I do Chopper. I said, not to, not, not to, uh, not, not to, not to uh, belittle Amy at all, because when she, she a sign picture, she, she gone for it. And she was, it was so nice of her to uh, give me a uh no a, a no uh a, a video shout out uh i don't know if i'm gonna play on here or not because usually i say those for like maybe a hundred videos but i might never, never know what's gonna happen what i'm gonna do but it was such a ball being here now before i continue on to sunday's uh epicness now now again what you wonder why i'm wearing the shades well this ladies and gentlemen was my soldier 76 mask as you can see Part of it is gone. A little tidbit story here. So uh, we was all me, Jaleel, Vic, and Sapan. We was all relaxing, and uh, so we was like, and, uh, and we got, and I'm pretty much, you know, we just got tired, and we just sat down for a minute. So I had my mask on the table, like this, and uh, so Jaleel accidentally knocked the mask over, and I was like, oh, I paid like a hundred something dollars for this mask. Oh, so I was because so, mind you, this this is uh, before we getting ready to do the photo shoot. And Jale, again, I want to thank you for taking so, so, such amazing, fantastic photos. You too, Victor. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I was like, oh, mg, guys, my mask, dude, my mask. Why, why, like, and so, so anyway, so I'm like, I, I really didn't know, dude. I really was kind of panicking right now. And uh, so I was shout to my boy Jermaine as McCree, my boy Mike as Reaper. Love you guys. Y'all have some fantastic cosplays. Uh, so I'm like, I didn't know what to do. So mind you, I saw I get the message to Quan, the whole thing to Quan. Be careful with my mask. You think the word be careful would mean something to somebody. So he ended up accidentally pulling the mask from one side. I was like, dude, like, come on. So, so that, so that was, uh, that hurt me so much. So I like, I was really, I was going to throw this mask away, but honestly, I, I'm going to keep it as display. But again, but doing some of the photo shoots I took, uh, some of the pictures I took, I saw that making like a battle damage mask. And I took a picture of it. I'm a, I, I, I hope I, uh, when I put, play this towards the end of this video, uh, I will actually play the, um, like, I'll show, you, I'll show some of the pictures that I took at Yumacon. But, um, the, and so I'm like, wow. So, like, what I'm gonna do? So, basically, I just ripped the pieces off and used the battle damage mask. 
So, and, and it still worked out. I still took some great pictures. It was amazing. So, and so basically, so I, the reason I, that's why I, uh, the rest of the con, I used the sunglasses as like my new visors. So, that was, so that, so that was that. But, let's go back to the end of the con, which was always be the saddest part. I did make some great connections. Excuse me. I made some great connections. And, uh, and, but, uh, it was kind of sad because it was over because like dog and every time to go back to, time to go back to normalcy but uh but anyway so Yuri Lowenthal hope I'm saying his name right uh of course he's the voice of Sasuke uh he did something like he's a voice like a like a teenage Ben 10 uh he also voiced a Simon and Goran Lagan so anyways uh the reason I'm lying for him, cause I I didn't like, I didn't get a chance to meet that many celebrities like I wanted to, cause I, my time it was so really badly off, and I was really mad at myself about that. So, anyways, we uh so like so I mean so uh no Vic and Je- Vic and Saquon they had to leave um early uh, Sunday, so we just so this just me and Jalil just up there hanging. So basically, I was like, that's like, dude, I'm not leaving this concert. I meet more celebrities. I, that was my, that was my goal. I, I knew I couldn't get video shout outs, but I, that was my goal to meet more people. So, uh, meeting Yuri, uh, I, again, I had, I had my Soldier 76 jacket on. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the pictures in a minute. And I had, I had my sunglasses. And I had my prop gun with me. Uh, I put my prop gun up, and I forgot to take it off. Please forgive me about this, ladies and gentlemen. So, anyways, this is the picture of me and Yuri, and that's Tara uh, Platt. I'm gonna get into Tara Mid because uh, I because I was shot to buy her. Uh, cause now the reason I got a Dragon Age background, those of you who are not good Dragon Age fans or not Yuri Lowenthal fans, Yuri was the voice of Sando. Sando is uh, the the guy who who does the to the word enchantment. Through the game, he was in the first and second. I can't remember was he in Inquisition. I don't think he was, but he because this only one was the Chapman. He's like boom, and so when I got a chance to talk to Yuri, he was like, "It's like man, we need we need to get prop guns." You see the prop? You see my prop gun right there? I'm gonna get it in there right quick. They had to get prop guns they said But uh, this is what Yuri said to me when he signed this picture. When I asked him to sign it for me. He say, "You say we are so bad, eh?" <laughs> It was cool, man. I had such a great time meeting Yuri and then Tara Platt. Uh, those of you who don't know, she was the voice of Tamara, and I didn't know that. I didn't know she was the voice of Tamara, and I was so lit that I found out who was. And she's uh, I can't remember her name, but she's from from the Persona Persona games. Uh, so I I was talk to her. She was good. She's like Terrence, stay classy. It, it, Tara Platt was just such cool beans to meet. So, and uh, and they had a lot more photo shoots. The only problem was I was low on cash because I was waiting for one more person. Kyle Hebert, the voice of Ryu. See this one right there? Dude, he was so lit. He, he, that he, nah, he was really cool. He was also fun to meet. Cause I enjoyed him as well. Uh, meeting him was good, and uh, the I mean, he was just like with these celebrities you meet. Sometimes people might say, "Oh, they might give you the wrong person," but no, these guys were actually legit cool. And I asked him like, "How is it?" And I, the first thing I asked him, I was like, "So you play a Thomas Samurai in a uh, in uh, One Punch Man?" He said, "Yeah." He said, "Good." He said, "You know, so yeah." I, I, st- I was like, "If I'm me, so I got the well knowledge." And uh, I remember one of the person said after I got my picture done with Kyle and, and after he signed it, uh, I, I no this essay it's good that fans like uh, like me and like everybody else to come and support uh, these voice actors because not, not not every time they get that they, they, they will be supported. But I'm um, take this gloves. I'm getting a little uncomfortable now. But um, so a lot of times they don't get they don't they don't get that support and uh, for and for us because this line was really. Really short, and I by me, and yes, I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of nerd out a bit. I was like, dude, and I was like, it was, a, it was such an honor and pleasure to meet him. And all in all, Yumicon itself was great. I had such a boss, a great time to all my people, to all the people I met. Thank y'all so much for Yumicon, such a great time for me. Again, I enjoyed it myself. But, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for a trivia giveaway time. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a special giveaway. So, now, 
first, I, what I wanted to give away was my extra soldier sentences, soldier sentences match. As of course, as you did see, my match, that, my first match is broken, so I'm keeping that one. I should keep them both and put them on display in my little office. So to put, but I do have for one lucky winner, I have an extra soldier sentences jacket. And uh, and for one lucky winner who get this who get this trivia question right, will indeed get this uh, this soldier sandwiches jacket. Just so you know, guys, it is a it's a two like a two three S jacket. And uh, you know, do what you want to do with it. You can wear it or you know put it on display however you want to do it. So here here's today's trivia question. Uh, Gamaliel Del Toro, you no, know, of course he directed the first two Hellboy movies, and of course he also had Pacific Rim. But this is not the first. This is not the first time that these guys actually got together. So here's today's question: What is the first film that Gamero Del Toro and Ron Perlman did a movie together? Again, uh, you got into this Saturday to uh, answer this trivia question. I will, like I said, the only way you can really enter, uh, really enter and get this question is you follow me on Facebook at Terrence King of Game Woods, or you hit me up on my Twitter page at Mr. T Woods 21. Again, that's Terrence King of Game Woods. Uh, in that, in that way, that's why you be able to uh, sponsor win. And I will put, I will post this question not only on, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, not only on my YouTube channel, Instagram, but also and put this on, uh, also on Twitter as well. I'll put this question on there, and you guys got until next Saturday to answer this question. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm your favorite random man, of course. Help me get to a thousand subs on YouTube and Twitch, and and I might do something else special for you guys. You never know what I would do. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Your favorite random man is out. Deuces. Love you.